Hey guys, welcome back to the Corncast, the not longest running weekly of Sonic. I am your host for this week, uh, Aaron, and I'm I'm here with Aaron. I can introduce myself, thank you. No, I am the host today. <laughs> I'm going to introduce people. That's why I'm a human being. That's why you're sitting on that side of the table and not this side. I could have gone with the fat guy you know with your first name that you went by, <laughs> but I was trying to be nice and give you a human name. And then the guy to my right, uh, my brother from another mother, or same mother. Another mother. Uh, Jacob. Hey, it's me again. So, uh, Phil, gave us the, Phil gave us the go ahead. Um, he was getting a table, and mm-hmm. he said, fuck all you. Kitchen I'm, table. I'm getting a kitchen table. That's well, fine. It's, fine. it's, it's more cool. important than the business. It's cool. It's, it, it's all right. Um, so, it's been, uh, it's been a while. It's been three weeks. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I think it's, it has well, been three what, weeks. What was it? We were on a roll, and then we stopped for a week. Uh, I had to go meet uh, Adam. He canceled mm-hmm. on me, which was all right. Um, then... <clears throat> Then we came. Did we come back or? No? I think yeah. I think we did one, and then, and then we were like, okay, we're we're, we're on episode nine, we're all, we're on track, and then a storm comes in, says fuck you, take three weeks off. <clears throat> we did well, one on a Saturday before the direct show. Well, what happened is the storm came in, and none of us had power for that entire week. So it's just like, well, you know what? We'll just yeah, we'll, we'll I, just skip this. I, one. I had laundry to catch up on. I had a and bunch then of the next week there was a birthday we had to go to. A birthday? Yeah, birthday. Oh yeah, Dad's birthday. Yeah. I, you know what's funny is I forgot that it was Saturday, <laughs> and when we were on his birthday party, I forgot that it was his birthday. And yeah, I'm the best son in the world. And then that was last week, so now here we are. For those of you who didn't know, we had a hurricane. Yeah, a land hurricane. A category three land hurricane. A land cane. That, uh, or Derecho. Was Derecho? Derecho. Was Derecho. No, it was not Derecho. I thought it was a Dorito. No. What? Dorito. No, it's a toasty. I would love if, if it's just a, a, a wall of Doritos just were slapping my head. I don't think you would. <laughs> I feel like Master Chief would appear at some point. Flying out of the Doritos. Uh, with Mountain Dew. I would love that. Uh, that's 2020 <laughs> for you. I mean, it could have been anything. 2020 is a year. I mean, anything you wanted to do, you could possibly do it. The rain is going to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sticky. After uh. that. God. Um, okay, so I guess... Uh, we're going to start, uh, Aaron, you want to start on your week? What you've been up to? Uh, you've got three weeks. Th- three weeks, yeah, we, the direct show happened, whatever you want to call it. Didn't have power, sucked. Pretty much, that was it, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. Well, tell me about your switch in your car, because you were really excited about that when you texted oh, me. Oh, being able to charge my switch? <laughs> You're like, I, can I was least... like, yeah, I just need this USB port, and I can plug it into my car. <laughs> I was like, so I don't got to be bored. Um, let's see. Yeah. You want me to come, you, you what, want me... what games did you play on you, the you, switch while oh, you were charging it? You want me, oh, you want me to come back I, I didn't even tell you guys the really bad thing that happened to me. You're, you're gonna laugh, but it was pretty bad. It was a bad day. Did you get your dick stuck in a window? No, worse. It was worse. And it has to do with my bed again. Oh, no! <laughs> Did you wet it? <laughs> Close. I didn't shit it either. <laughs> okay, so my bed is like... It's about a couple feet off the ground. Um, wait, wait. A couple feet? Yes. Feet. Yes, it's probably about this high. This table high. Um, like, this is where the top of your bed is? Yes. Okay, okay. I thought you were saying, like, off the ground, like, this is the bottom of your bed. Okay, so... And like, then it's just, like, a mile it's high. It's probably higher. He's like, so this is where, the, like, like so laying down, this is a- where a- it is. Aaron is standing up, and he's putting his hand on the table. Right so next he's... to his dong. Right in front of me. <laughs> okay. Look at it. And that's not even... This was a day before the direct show, so Sunday... You're gonna laugh, but you're gonna laugh. But it was not a fun this, day. This better be a build up for something good. I was like, probably half asleep, dreaming. Oh no! I fell out of my bed. Oh. And dislocated my shoulder. Oh, that's not. That's funny. not funny. Well, I I think now, if you guys would laugh at that. Now, if you said you fell out of your bed and fell through the floor, 
Then, <laughs> I, then I would have laughed. I forgot I, to tell you guys that. And I sleep on a on a cement floor. <laughs> it was on the carpet too. <laughs> I'm also on the first floor of the building. <laughs> yeah, so I had to go to the doctor, and I was just like, he just grabbed it like this, just pop it back into place. Yeah. Said that'd be three hundred dollars. Thanks. Pretty so much. This, yeah. was, this was on Sunday then. I haven't gotten the bill yet, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, this was the Sunday before the dread show, so okay, I'm just so sitting there like, okay. 2020 can't get worse. <laughs> well, that's and then funny. the next day, a fucking hurricane comes through Iowa. Well, you know what? You know what's funny is that Brandon had a job interview that week. Yeah. And so, of course, you know everything's off power. So of course he didn't go to the job interview. And so I was like, I blame you know I I, I blame Brandon for the the, the dress show. I, w- I really wanted to tell that story because I wasn't gonna say anything. Because, but then I remembered, hey, this might actually be funny because it's literally continuing the story of my bed. <laughs> <laughs> the bed well, saga continues. Be, be, before, before you got to the, the arm being dislocated. I'm like, it was bad. I thought it, like, it hurt so bad I thought I fractured it. I was pointing left, but I was really pointing right because my arm was this way. I don't know. It's scary because, like, I, I roll a lot when I sleep. I, I don't, I'm not that person that, you know, that just stays still. Mm-hmm. So, like. So, you gotta get a crib now. It's. <laughs> <laughs> only with you I'm not gonna... I, just, I think I just need more pillows <laughs> I only have two just make a pillow for it <laughs> I won't roll out of this <laughs> when you bring your girlfriend over it, there's a reason why there's so many pillows over here <laughs> it's so if I roll out I roll with the pillow you see that hole right there I know it's the first floor but <laughs> okay so I knew it would eventually make you guys laugh not about the dislocation, but just I was gonna say you can't, you can't say you can't laugh and you go, "Oh yeah, I dislocated my shoulder." I'm like, oh, that's not funny. <laughs> that the, that part is not funny because it actually yeah. If you look down that hole, you can see the foundation. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you look a little bit further, there's Satan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that hole's a mile deep. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally just in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> also, when we didn't have power at work, we didn't have power, so we we still served. We were still open for one of those days, and sw- I was sweating my ass off in that building without AC, <laughs> oh, making sandwiches because we were open for like that derainder, or that, I don't even know derainder, derainder. I, <laughs> I was duration. I, I, I wasn't was gonna say anything. I was like, oh, I don't know. even derainder. I'm gonna say duration because I don't. I don't. Like I don't want here. <laughs> I meant to say to like we were open till three o'clock, and then we're like, okay, we can't stay open. It was pretty, we were pretty much open until we ran out of bread. We, we talked about most. We of did, it. so <laughs> we'll give you a little bit more time. Uh, but yeah, it sucked because we were just sweating our ass. So I was like, I was like, can I just go home? This sucks. No. <laughs> they're like, what are you gonna do at home? I was already pissed because I couldn't take deliveries. So, but yeah, other than that. This year just sucks. Man. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, hey, we got the podcast <laughs> off the ground, so I mean, we got that going for us. But yeah, pretty much that gaming working. It seems like things are getting back to normal, but you know, September probably has some bad shit coming. Well, I've been hearing a lot of rumors. They're gonna about. wake up Green Day. <laughs> no, they're not gonna wake them up. Well, oh, be no, the, that's at the end of the month, mm. so that's October. Right, right. So I'm talking. So about, we gotta check on what that dude's name is. I don't know what. Billy, so, Billy, yeah, I almost yeah, said Billy. Billy Idol, but it's Billy Joe Armstrong, I think. Sure, why not? It's Such Billy. a weird ass name for a Green Day guy. I don't know. Okay, but that—that's pretty much what I did. <clears throat> All right, guess I'll go next. So, uh, again, without power, but I did manage to get my uh, two final platinums to get a hundred for this year. So, and now let's just say, oh yeah, let's clap. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's just say that you use a generator to get one of your platinums. Yeah, so uh, we bought a generator, or we, we bought a generator a few years ago. Probably like six years ago. A while ago. And then we bought an extension cord because they were. We needed another one. And I, I, I finally came and I told my dad, I'm like, yo, I need to play a real game. <laughs> so he's like, well, we've got this extra uh, extension cord. If you want to just run this down the stairs, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Imagine saying that to your dad. Dad, I need to get this 100th platinum. I know we don't have power. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just, because I've been playing my 3DS, and I've been playing fucking uh, Legend of Zelda Picross. Mm-hmm. 
which is awful. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just, I, I just walk by, I'm like, Dad, I, I need to play a real game. <laughs> I'm dying over here. <laughs> and so we ran the court down, and I got a, <clears throat> the Man Eater Platinum. Yes. And then I proceeded to start playing The Walking Dead, and then the power came back on, and I was like, yay. And I had to turn everything off so I could turn everything back on. <laughs> So that was uh, my hundred platinum, which only took five and a half years. But now uh, let's just say, you know, no, nobody's gonna even know the reference to this, but I think it's a funny joke that you came up with about the adding everybody's platinum together. Oh yeah, so uh, we got four friends who are related to each other, and then we just added one because he has zero platinum. <laughs> and uh, so their total came up to ninety nine. <laughs> so you're better than all of them. And then I'm just, uh, and then I'm just at 100 now, so I've got more platinums than five of them combined. Dude, I'm gonna start competitively going for platinums, and now I'm not gonna be like Brendan. Well, I'll be good. <laughs> it's coming from a guy who has 130,000 gamer score <laughs> on Xbox. So let's see what else did happen. Uh, I pretty much explained everything I did during the Draco during the, the Draco episode of the Cornucopia Bros. So, oh yeah, I finished up uh, Project Cross Zone too. Nice. Because uh, I went back to it for a third time since I played Super Robot Wars, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, I'll just you know play the other one. Schwarzenegger. I remember that. Schwarzenegger. What, what was the guy after him? Oh, I don't know, but he was even worse. It was worse, and his uh, we both were busting out laughing when we saw him. Yeah, he just shows up and I'm like, what the fuck is that guy? <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was fun. That was only, uh... Collectively, it was a 50-hour game. Because, like, there's 42 maps and each one of them take about an hour to complete. So, that was cool. And, and, and since you don't know what it is, it's Namco, Capcom, and Sega. Mm -hmm. all, like, a bunch of their IPs together. And it's like a, a tactical game. Like, you know, people on a grid and... I remember saying that. I was like, ba ba Bandai Namco made this? Well, that was Robot Wars. Yeah. But, yeah, no, Namco Bandai made this one, too. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so... It only took me three different sessions to beat this game. For three different games that got me in going back to it. The first being Accused of the second being God Eater, the third being Robot Wars. <laughs> so that's... That's what I did. Well, uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, so, um, yeah, if you want to know what I did during Draco, uh, you guys can go watch the Corum Rose episode. Um, like I said, I didn't get power till Friday of, what would it be, last week now? Oh, yeah. So this is almost a full week of having power, which is fucking amazing. Um, uh, been playing a lot of 3DS, I've been playing Ever Oasis, which... I explained to you that it's like Dark Souls. I was incorrect on that. Uh, it's more like an easy version of Legend of Zelda. Well, I mean, Legend how, of... how does Legend of Zelda get easier? Because <laughs> I mean, it does. It, because it, they, it can get easier. What, what they do is there's like there's like um, you can turn into a ball. Um, you can mine, which is really not important. Um, you can shovel, which is not important. Then you can you can have a wall, and these are all different characters that have these abilities. And so when you go through these dungeons, they go, okay, well you need this person, this person. So instead of having to go all the way back to your your place, you can just um, fast travel back to back to your base, swap out your party, and then go back. And like I said, it's just basic combat. Like you know, it's it's a a a a you know as you level up, or a x a you know combo stuff like that. So it's basically just an easier version of. Um, Legend of Zelda, which I like. Um, except the only thing that annoys me is it's too cute, and there's a point where where the cuteness goes. Okay, like you level up your you level up your o oasis, and th there's a character that's um, she's she can only go on water, and so she's like, oh cool, our, our oasis is getting bigger, more people are coming in, and so you leave you leave her house, and then she swims out of the house and goes. Hey, I haven't talked to you in a while. You want to chat? And it's like, well, you, you're kind of forcing me. I, ha I have to. So then it goes to face the black and goes back. And, like, oh, I talked a lot longer than I thought I would. It's like, yeah, you do that every fucking time I level up this place. Uh, but um, 
So oh, Nook's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been playing that. Um, I finished Dragon Ball uh, Fusion. Um, that game. Um, the, I don't know if it's because when I bought it, I didn't buy it on launch day, so I bought it years later. So they end up giving me like free DLC. Like characters were like in their 20s. And I'm at like level 10. So these, I'm like, well, fuck, I can put these characters on my team. I'm just going to steamroll the rest of the, you know, the competition. So um, it does get hard to the end. And then Cell and Frieza are like, we're the big bad guys and we're going to fuse together. And, oh, God. And then we're going to have a, our, we're going to have a bunch of different Cells and Frieza's. Um, uh, you can keep taking them out, but, you know, they're just going to respond. So you might as well just go after the boss. That, like, reminds me of when, like, Krillin and Budokai won, when, like, Krillin and uh, Cell accidentally fused together. It's, like, an alternate thing of, like, when uh, Cell is trying to absorb Android 18, and, like, he pushes Android 18 out of the way, and then Cell accidentally fuses Krillin. It's, like, um, the, little, it's the weirdest abomination I, ever. I it's, like a, it's, like, a really short... Bald-headed. Bald-headed Cell with uh, the base of Krillin, and it's orange. That's funny. Um, then I had, I had a scare... On Monday of this week, where I thought I put my 3DS in my pocket, and so I got to work. And I'm like, I'm like, wow, well, my pockets feel a lot lighter. So I end up, you know, I was like, shit, my 3DS isn't in there. So I'm going around where I work, looking like, did I drop it here? Did somebody take it? And then, so all day I was like, fuck, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be able to beat up Oasis, and because <laughs> I'm close. Um, so I end up, I, I just end up leave, left it at home. Um, that's about my my week. Um, just I was on a roll before Duranko came in, beating games, and then everything got put on hold. And um, now the games I've been playing that I was playing before then, I'm like I just don't like it. you know it's been too long. And, but yeah, so that's been my week <clears throat> weeks. All right. So with that being said, this is a special episode. 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 Okay. Episode. Episode. Um, episode ten, and we are doing top ten games. Uh, games that got ten out of tens from from Rockable. Uh, uh, I really just put two and two together. It's episode ten, and we're doing games that got ten out of ten. Oh my. <laughs> Aaron, I really just put those Robert, two or three together. The people listening can't see it, but I'm just slowly turning my head away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't know. Uh, <clears throat> so, so anyway, so they have to have at least one ten out of ten from like IGN, Gamespot, um, Game Informer, Game Informer, like big sites that you know people are well are <clears throat> well known, um, and yeah, it's the same rules, the same rules, you know. Yeah. Apply. There's nothing different, but it's just a special episode of their 10 out of 10s that Aaron just put, is putting together now. <laughs> no, I do, do we have to explain? No, no, I know you did it already, but... You, do do you we have to explain? Oh, you're talking about... <laughs> do, do we have to explain next week's concept to you, too? What are... Well... It's episode 11, so it's going to be our games that we think are 11 out of 10s. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you already know what game I'm going to put on that. I can't believe... It was Donut County. Please don't. I can't, I please, can't don't do Red, please don't do Red Dead Redemption too. I can't believe Zelda is going to be on the podcast three weeks in a row. Well, so, now, that, right. now that you've spoiled one of the games that's on this list, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so our first game is uh, Chrono Cross, and uh, I watched the review, and I didn't really get much of the. So it's more rest respect that I watch, but <laughs> it, it's uh, Chrono Cross is the sequel to Chrono Trigger, which is it, which the guy who made it kept saying it's not not. Um, it's less of a sequel and more of an adjacent. Game. Yeah, yeah, it's also Pokemon. Yeah, because there's like a hundred different recruitable uh, people. Not only that, <laughs> red is weak to blue. And yeah. like green is weak to red. Yeah, that makes sense. I I looked, I saw that and I was like, yeah, it's Pokemon. This yeah, is Pokemon. It's got your uh, your rock paper scissors elements. Yeah. It's got your adjacentness to Chrono Trigger. Uh, yeah. So it's an RPG on the PS One. Yeah, and you were keeping track of uh, of who, who who gave it the yeah who gave yeah. It so the, um, because that's what that was kind of cool. Like, Ga- cool. Gamespot was the one who gave okay. this one a ten out of ten. Okay. And, uh, I thought that was funny. I was like, I also said why. This doesn't look that great. 
Nobody gave Chrono Trigger a 10 out of 10, though, which is funnier than hell. Because if you know what Chrono Trigger is, you probably like it more than Chrono Cross. That's like 95% of the fan, fan base would prefer Chrono Trigger to Chrono Cross. Mm-hmm. And then Chrono Cross gave me a 10 out of 10, so... <laughs> kind of funny to me. <laughs> but anyway, we got numbers? Yeah. Uh, I quick. believe... <laughs> Since I never played it, and I looked it up, I believe I gave it a zero. Oh, okay. <laughs> I also gave it a zero. Well, that's unfortunate, because I gave it a five to spite Chrono Trigger. <laughs> and then Phil gave it a negative five. Oh, wow. To so... spite me, so it's a zero. <laughs> you got to make a note of that? Or you yep, I, I, I can make okay. a note. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, with that... You gave it a five? I did give it a five, because I hate Chrono Trigger. <laughs> I'll say it again for everybody at home. I hate Chrono Trigger. Yep. There you go. I'm, I'm... Some right people hate us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, so next one, I believe it is Halo 2. And that was given a 10 by Game Informer. That's a fair 10. That's a really good game. Is that, I believe it's the only Halo that's ever got 10. It's the greatest Halo game. And it is the most ballsiest of, of games at, at this time where they go, hey... We're leaving you on a cliffhanger here. You know, you're going to finish the fight next next game. Um, to be fair, I haven't actually played it. But, like, <coughs> I want to. And Phil would be like, you're on Xbox, but I haven't played Halo 2. And I'm like, yeah. Phil wouldn't care. Probably. You're probably yeah, and just like, no, Phil's going to listen no, to Phil this episode. So you got to be nice to Phil. No, Phil would probably be like, you need to play it. <laughs> That's probably what I don't even think Phil's played it. Uh, no, he has. No, I, has think, he? I think he's playing it now. Well, he was playing it before. Oh, he was talking right. about it. Yeah, that's right. I think he said he was playing it on his PC. Yeah, you got the... the uh... I think this is also the first one where you get to play as the enemy. Yeah, you, you, you get, get to play, play as the, uh, the Arbiter. Yeah, so you get to run around and... and... Also, you can dual wield. Yeah, so that's kind of... All I think... Only thing I know about it is, like, the sword in it is just, like, a one-hit KO, and it pissed a lot of people off. And it spawned Rooster Teeth, like, red versus blue. Yeah, that was... Yeah, uh... it has amazing soundtrack. It does. I've heard and it. And I think it's, a, it's the first one where you get to steal the... Not, uh, you get to... I think it's, it's where, you, where, where like an enemy's driving at you, and you get to run up and like punch him in the face and go, Nope, this is my vehicle now. It also so, like pretty much spawn. It's pretty much this game, I would say, is the reason Halo Infinite is happening. Because if you look at Halo Infinite, you're just like, wow, this looks like Halo 2 Remastered. So well, technically, Halo Infinite's only happening because Halo happened. Well, it wasn't... Yeah, hey, Halo was kind of like the leading force in first-person shooters <clears throat> for a while. And then Call of Duty happened. Yeah, then Call yeah, of Duty. because combat was evolved. <laughs> that's the first one. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I would say Call of Duty is better. Yeah, well, we're not talking about Call of Duty right now, now are we? Nope. Anyway, anyway, I've got nothing to say about Halo 2. <laughs> I said all there is I really can say about I, I, I enjoyed Halo 2. Like I said, I played it not on release day, so I was able to go from 2 to 3, so I didn't have to wait... Um, Master Chief's pretty iconic. Oh yeah. It, it, oh, any most games I'll, you look I'll, at. I'll, I'll, I'll ruin Master Chief. I had this fucking in my head how I was going to introduce this game. Master Chief, the BMX guy. Because somebody made the joke. They're like, "Yeah, you'll never unsee this, but Master Chief is a BMX guy." You know he is. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Yeah, you know. So I was going to introduce him that way, and I, my dumbass, you know, forgot. So I guess. uh who wants to go first with this? I'll give Phil score out. He gave it a two. Two? Okay. Unintentionally, I did this. I also gave it a two. Okay. I gave it a one. So five, and I gave it a four. So nine. So nine. It's a fair score. Okay, so so far, we have two games that we can't rank. <laughs> so, all right. So we'll move on to um, Overwatch. Or is it Legend? Is, it would be Legend of Zelda. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right. The... One, I've been waiting ever since I started this podcast, way back in the the, the good times of June, so, May, May, I've been going, you know, here's a game I want to rank. Sit down and grab your popcorn, we're going to be here a while. The shittiest Are fucking we, Breath of the Wild. Probably, <laughs> maybe like five, ten minutes, I have a lot to say about it. Oh no. Let me just say this. This is probably my, one of my least favorite Legend of Zelda games. Weapon durability. Hate weapon durability. But it's not that bad. Oh, it's bad. No, it isn't. 
The Master Sword. Absolute shit. Can use it for a couple of swings and then, and then you gotta let it recharge. That's not my Master Sword. It's, Hashtag it's like not my Master it's Sword. It's like a hundred. I don't care. I never got to it. Is it a hundred swings? It felt if, like twenty. If... Z- no, it, it might be. Well, before you do trial of the sword, it might be like half of what it normally is. It's 180 after it's fully maxed out after trial of the sword, but that is DLC, so it could be like 90. Quote unquote, this game is open world, and I'm using air quotes here. You know, they say, "Oh, you can go anywhere." No, you have to have the abilities to go places, or you know, you have you to get have, the abilities. That is actually really, wrong. You get the abilities literally after you leave the great Bata- plateau. Yeah, but you can't climb up a mountain all the way. You have to go. Okay, well, I need this item, and this item. So technically, you, you don't. You, know, know. you, you don't. Can, you can climb any. You well, can go that's anywhere. Place. You can go to Death okay. Mountain first. Can you go to the ice area and, and survive? Yes. If you bring hot food with you, yes. It's called spicy so, peppers. So if you don't well, have those, you can move on. Right. It's still open world. <laughs> yeah, that's what. It's, it's you there. do need to complete the Great Plateau, I think, before you can leave anywhere. Yeah, because you don't get the hang glider, and you can't climb It's off. required. You can't climb off the Great Plateau. Not only that, everything outside the Great Plateau, I think, is like... Look, there's like a barrier. I don't that's, think that's, you can That's all leave. I have to say. So, if you two want to open the floor, you guys can debate. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... Let's see. Oh, I'm hearing nothing? Wow, this game might be shit. You really have to... This, for, for stuff like this with me and him, it's something you really have to think about. It's like, it's like note-taking. Really? If a game's that good, you shouldn't have to think about it. You should be like, oh, this is why it's I, good. I honestly don't have too much to say about you Breath of the Wild. You hear that? Aside from it being... No, I'm just giving shit. It, it's <laughs> both simultaneously the most Zelda and the least Zelda of the games. That's fair. Because it, it it's all about ex- exploration, which is... A, one of the big things in like the original Zelda, right? And then it's also got some of the worst dungeons. Like they are, they are super mm-hmm. bland and unfru- and, and, and bosses. And, like I, fuck Thunderblood Ganon. Can I just say that? I, would say, I honestly had more trouble with Water Blight Ganon. There is because I did not bring I did not bring lightning arrows into that fight. Yeah, it's not. Like I that. had to do it with the stasis. You're supposed to use like well, you know when he throws the cryo. Cryonesis, I think is what they're called. Cryonesis. Sure. Locks at you. You're supposed to break. And you're not, like, especially, like, towards the end of his, like, phase two, when he's throwing, like, six of them at you, it can get pretty hard. So, wait, wait you break them just by, like, swinging at them? No, you can shatter them in your own cryonesis. Oh, because that's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> what I did is I just sidestepped them until I got to the last one, and I tried to hit that with the stasis. And then throw it back at him. See, I fought him second so at that time I had Rivali's Gale so I could just like I fought him up. first and I didn't have anything and so I could just like slow-mo shoot him with my arrows See, these, and knock him these over these other stories are cool I think the reason why I don't like the game is because everyone puts this game on pedestal saying this is the greatest thing since sliced bread and it's like no it's not I don't it's, think it's the greatest Zelda it's my that, third that, that's where I, like, that's where I, I come in like if, it, if people were just saying okay it's a cool Zelda game you know whatever but they did. They they combined my two favorite things: Zelda and open world, and they did it and really well. Durability. I love that. I yeah. can't get enough. Of that. Well, he did like over uh, Oblivion. Weapon durability isn't as bad as everybody makes it out to be. I don't know. It's really not. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> let, let me settle this here. The Blood Moon makes. I it said, let me settle this. <laughs> the early game. Weapon durability is the worst fucking thing in that game. Because you are not finding anything besides the Coppin Clubs. And maybe maybe Skeleton Hands. Those are the only weapons you're finding. But at the end of the game, once you've cleared all four dungeons, you are fucking loaded with weapons. And you you are praying for them to break so you can pick up a new weapon. And you have like 60 Royal Claymores and like 70 Savage Lanobos. Calm down, Phil. I didn't have seven. seven. I wish Phil was here. Today. I, I didn't have today. six. I'm I did, exaggerating. I did not grind for the the, the great swords because there, there's a spot where you can just keep farming them and they just. How many Korok seeds did you get? I don't know, like three hundred, two hundred. With three hundred, you could get most of the weapon and bow. I, I had a, I had enough slots that I was actively praying for the game to break my weapon so I could have right, so new here's, here's a question for both of you. You, did you, both of you, you bought the DLC, right? And you no, I did. <laughs> I did not buy the okay, DLC. Okay, and now, I have all the amiibo what, what do you think about this? What do you think about DLC where you can buy it, but you can only get use it as soon as you beat the game? 
I didn't like that because, okay, you get this thing called... I don't remember exactly what it's called in the game because I only have it on my main playthrough and right now I'm playing on a master mode playthrough, which... Fuck that, especially you said early game. That's almost impossible on don't the they, start. Don't they just stick a line along the grave though and say, hey, yes. eat a dick? And every red bokoblin is a... There's blue and black bokoblins on the Great Plateau, and they will one-shot you. That's um, right. But, what were you saying again? Sorry. Oh, you were talking about DLC? Yeah. Uh, you get, oh, it's called the Master Cycle Zero, I yeah. think. and you can only use it You when... literally get that when you pretty much completed everything. Right. Which... But the Master Sword, the Trial of the Sword, you can do as soon as you get the Master Sword. So I think that's worth it. Plus, uh, you get the upgraded champion abilities, which are worth it, but again, you have to... Com- you have to be every. When does the uh, the access to the the backstory happen? The uh, the champion side stories. Uh, what are you it, talking about? Don't don't you uh, get like the the the? Oh, geez. It's in the. You're champ- talking about the picture. Is that the, is that all it is? Well, I you know complete there's... every champ. You complete every champion's ballad. You fight all the bosses again, which you thought Water Blight was hard when you have to rematch him. It's even tougher because you don't get all your equipment. Mm. You get like the Zora armor and you get like a two spears and a bow. So it pretty much sets you up to so, where you don't okay. get all your abilities. So the Battle of the Champions is literally just like essentially boss rush? Yes. Okay, so now I feel even less compelled to play. <laughs> you also have to you have to find them too. Like you go to these shrines and you have to find because I, I knew that there was, like, story-related, like, DLC, but if, if you're just telling me it's just, you get that by by playing the bosses again, and I'm like, wow! Plus the cosmetic stuff is, like, so you know how there's, like, a Lionel mask, there's a Bacoblin mask, a Moblin mask? Uh, you get Majora's mask in the DLC, and that's pretty much all of them. Mm. So it pretty much makes them worthless. But my favorite thing is, is what Amiibo does. You essentially get all of Link's costumes... And all of Link, like most of Link's weapons, you can be Fierce Deity Link, you can be Ocarina of Time Link, Wind Waker Link, but it looks fucking weird because it's like an adult <laughs> body Link. You know, <laughs> he's got these big bug eyes. <laughs> it's his costume, but it's in an adult. Oh, it's okay. in an adult body. Um, big Goron Sword, Fierce Deity Sword, like that's my favorite part. Like, and plus you can get like stats, stats increase, like for Fierce Deity Sword, like attack up, durability up. Same with the Bagoran sword. But the thing I hate too with Bagoran sword, it's like the quest to get that was for it to not break. So it's pretty much just a giant's knife because it can still break. Mm. But, yeah. but other than that, yeah. Okay. Well, I love the game. I think it's a great game. And I like that. Oh, well, yeah. Game. You're wearing a Breath of the Wild shirt right now. Well, yeah, because was that intense, was, it's, was that intense it's festive. It's festive. <laughs> Yes. Well, my shirt doesn't match the list. <laughs> I got it, it'll, it'll, match, <laughs> it'll match the list in episode 12. If but yeah. We're still doing what the idea was for 12. Well, I'm surprised we're still doing it to, to this day. So. But like Jacob said, early progression is really difficult. Especially because the game doesn't hold your hand. Like in most Zelda's. Oh, there, there, there is one thing I want to say. I did say that all the dungeons kind of sucked. Man, that, ex- that That excludes Hyrule Castle. Yes, we didn't even talk about that. Hyrule Castle is top tier dungeon in the franchise. It's probably the best Hyrule Castle they've ever made. Just everything about it. You can you can tackle it from so many different perspectives. Maybe excluding Ganon's Castle from... No, I would say it still beats Ganon's Castle from Ocarina of Time. It does. It, it's top tier because like, you just go in there and you it's like you're exploring too. an actual castle. And you can go in at any time too. And, and there's just so much to see in there. There's no loading screen into get, getting mm-hmm. into it either. That's the thing I like about it. <laughs> and, and you can, like, there, there's an NPC who explains to you how you can get in there in, like, four different ways. Like, oh, you know, you could just charge in there with your horse. Sneak in there with the the Rivali's Gale. You know, dive underwater and just mm-hmm. take the sewage. I didn't even mention that either. Rider Link uh, gets you Epona. And it has max, and she has max stats. Mm. And already has max bond. She's the best horse in the game. Oh, real shit. Opponent is the best horse in any game. And the NPCs actually respond to it. It's like, but, you can't uh, rename her. But, like, isn't that Epona, the horse of legend? I just want to say that Opponent is not top tier milk. Just going to put that out there. Okay, you can shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go ahead and... I'm sorry, the, no, bear no, with, no. the bear with wings is way better! The bear with wings? Yeah. Oosh. I thought Who's you were going to say that? the Lord of the Mountain. No! Who's that? 
It's the Mo- worst in the game. Moosh is from Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. Okay, then. He, he's, he's a bear. I'm not from another game. He, he's a bear with tiny wings, but he's the top. He's the, the king of red lions. <laughs> he is the best mount. The only bear that I care about is one from Far Cry 5. I don't remember his name, but maybe that I don't uh, care about. Cheeseburger. Yeah, because oh. di- he had diabetes. Yeah. Okay, so let's... All right, so go ahead. Uh, you guys go first. What Phil get? Five? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Yes, he, he gave Breath of the Wild a five. I think it's very, very obvious what I gave it. A negative, a negative five? five. Whoa! Holy crap. Shit. Yeah. Holy shit! I fucking hate this game. It's the worst game ever made. Yeah, I, I mean, he said negative five, so no, I, I gave it a five. Okay. I, I gave it a three, and I gave it a one. So it's up there with Odyssey. Let me see. Let me see. That's a fourteen. Yeah. Did I give it a? Yeah. And you said it was going to get a twenty. I did give it a one. I made the joke because there was only two games to pick from at the time. All right, so you said I can't believe Cube War is actually yeah. still our best game. Five, ten. Yeah, so fourteen. Oh, fourteen, my bad. I was for some reason I had sixteen. My head. I'm trying to figure out the numbers. Oh, we didn't say who gave this one a perfect score, but you could probably guess. Like IGN and Game Informer will give it. Oh to yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's not, it doesn't matter. A lot of people did. All right, so next one on our list is. If I could do the theme song, I would. Overwatch. <clears throat> uh, Wizard's last good game. Debatable. Uh, I don't want to say it's a good game. It's I okay. Just... <laughs> it was the inferior version of Paladins. When yes. it got 10 out of 10, I was like, when, when I saw it on this list, I was just like, a 10 out of 10? Are you joking? Well, Game Informer gave it a 10. And, and then, and then IGN, IGN also gave it a 10. Well, they, did, they gave it a 9, I think, or a 9.5, and then they went back and re-reviewed it, and they're like, oh, it's a 10. Um, uh, for, for what it was, I mean, there's like, what, 30-some characters, like 20-some heroes, and like five villains, and now they're trying to add more villains to the thing. Um, it's, a, it's a competitive... Did it have 30? I thought it had like 25. It might have had 25. Uh, they've been adding over over time, but it's yeah. a competitive um, 5v5... It's um, a team shooter. Team shooter where... Uh, no, I think it's 6v6. Maybe it's 6 I don't know. I, I only played it for a little while. And... It's, it's the only game that has come out in the past five years that is competitive and you can change your character. Like, you go, hey, you know what? I, I'm a healer right now, and a lot of my teammates are dying, so obviously I'm not a good healer, and then somebody's going, hey, I can play Mercy. Let me play Mercy. You get off fucking Mercy. You can play somebody else, and you, you can swap it on the... You know, every other game is like you're locked in. You know, so I don't know if that's like a... You know, I, I have to give props to Overwatch, because like I said, every other game, you're fu- once you pick a character, you're locked in. You're like, oh shit, I really hate this character. <laughs> Who's the guy with shotgun pistols? Shotgun. Oh, like that's... Uh, he's he's like a Reaper. he's like the Grim Reaper. Reaper. Yeah. Wow, that was a guess. <laughs> Close. I mean, his uh, name isn't all that inspired. Uh, there's the gorilla. I think his name's Winston. Yeah. yeah, I used him once too. I only played it for like a couple like a couple I, times. I, I I played it um um by myself at first. And I think I you know this is why I don't like Overwatch. It's not uh, uh, one because I Paladins is a hell of a better game. It is. Um. <laughs> Either that or the people who play Paladins are way worse. <laughs> there, there's hardly any tryhards in Paladins. You do come across them. But in, in Overwatch, for the most part, has been... I don't know. It's been neutral to more on the side of... Jesus Christ, you're already kicking me and I'm just trying to fucking learn. Can you not tell by my score that I'm a new player to this game? You know? Yeah. Trust me, I, I don't really do it a lot anymore, but I used to play COD competitively. And yeah, people are... Way too it, much. It's the point where it's, like, and that's that's. I think that's why why I don't like Overwatch because uh, I, I like the concept, but it's like for what it is. There's like what three modes? It's push the payload. Maybe, I'm using paladin terms here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's payload. Uh, you think it's payload? Okay. Yeah. Uh, push payload. Um, <clears throat> team uh, deathmatch. Team death. I don't know if that's team deathmatch in that it, game. It does. I know it has uh, capture the flag. I'm ninety percent sure it's got team deathmatch. Okay. Match. Okay. You're, you're probably right. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't have, and I haven't played recently. <clears throat> so um, I I do think the characters look pretty cool. Um, they all have kind of cool designs. Um, yeah, that's all I really got. But yeah, I played Paladin. 
<laughs> I, I played Overwatch after uh, getting the Platinum Paladins, and uh, I'm like, well, you know, I like Paladins, so maybe I'll like Overwatch. And then that, Over- that, that's what I thought too. And then Overwatch was just like, man, this kind of sucks. Actually, all yeah. the healers are trash. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. like healers play as healers. Like, like Mercy, I don't think you can shoot anybody. You can. Can you? You got to switch weapons. Okay, well, I didn't know. And then you get the world's shittiest pistol. <laughs> <laughs> The, the other thing that really, really turned me off was that they'd, they'd work, reworked the characters so you couldn't get the trophies quite as easily because, like, one of the trophies is, like, heal six people with mercy on a single life. And it's like, well, it's incredibly hard to heal people with mercy now. Yeah. <laughs> because when the trophy was originally there, like, it was super easy to heal right. with her. And then it's like, no, actually. One of them that... One of the characters I really like to play, uh, Zenyatta, he had a thing where it was like, heal 2,500 damage with one use of this special. And it's like, yes, I can I can do that when I'm healing for, like, 30. <laughs> like, that's one of the things that turned me off. I'm just like, I don't care. Well, there was, uh... And then you got pissed off, and you're like, I'm deleting this. I'm like, well, I guess I'm done. Well, because I think, uh... Again, yeah, I came across people who were tryhards. And I was like, I'm not a fucking tryhard. That's why... It, it, and I know we, we try to stay on topic, but like Rainbow Six Siege, when they had the free to play oh, week. Oh yeah, don't. Like, are you playing ranked? No, I was playing don't. casual, and like I, you know, I'm first match, and they're already trying to kick me. I'm like, that's why I don't fucking play competitive games. I don't either. They're just not fun. You don't have a good time. Such so you people are way too competitive. And and the thing, the thing with Overwatch is I never, you know, it's behind because it's Blizzard. I think a lot of people. Put in a higher tier, you know, like, oh, it's 10 out of 10. It's like, no, it's not really 10 out of 10. Um, that was a tough year. Overwatch and Pokemon Go competing for the game of the year. Like, <laughs> oh, God. Um, do you need anybody else, guy? Oh, the one thing I'll say, I think the coolest thing, what I always like about these games, is when you can hear a character in the, in the background doing their special, like Justice from Above or whatever it's called. Where that, I, don't, I think Farah, whatever yeah. his name is, goes in the air and just rains rockets down. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but if we got, um, if, if we're done, we can go ahead and give scores. Um, Phil and I both gave it a big old O for Overwatch. Oh, nice. I also gave it a zero. Wow. <laughs> I gave it a one. Nice. Wow. <laughs> um, big old O for <laughs> just, just talking off the cuff. One thing I didn't think about is there should be something, there should be, we should add, and we can do this off, off air, but I, if there's an audience listening, uh, give us feedback, where if everybody, let's just say everybody gives it a two, there should be like a gold star where it goes, wait, wait, sorry, I gave Overwatch two. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, sorry, okay. I, was, I was looking at uh, so Chrono Cross. Oh, well. That might be our first three, I'm not I'm sorry. No, I think there's other threes. I think Shadow's got a three. Um, but what I was thinking is... There should be same tiers, but if everything gets a, if everybody gets a zero, it gets moved into a, a category where it's the top zero and it's at a star. Mm. So like, you know, it can't be moved anymore. It just it just goes right to the top until something else. And so like, gets... so like if there's like everybody gets it a one, it's the, the, the you know star one. It's it's the big thing. But so it's the top four. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Or oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody gets it a one. My bad. <clears throat> Uh, that would be fine. We'll, we'll figure something that out. Yeah, I think that's going to be... Cause I've, I've been thinking about them, like, we're never going to get a negative 20. We're never going to get... We have more chance of getting a, a 20. Uh, yeah. But it's just like... Um, Alright, so, our final game. The one, the only, Pac-Man Championship Edition XD. DX. DX. As per IGN's reviews. Giving that a 10. Uh, this game is... Uh, I think I prefer the the second one, Neon Pac Man, because I think um, you, you go in 3D mode. And, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't look up. You didn't look, okay. I just assumed it was Pac Man. You didn't look at anything. I actually did. I looked up. No, I didn't. Look at <laughs> so, so, IGN gave it a ten, and I actually looked it up. Okay. Why? I know, so I know IGN gave it a ten because I told everybody IGN gave it a ten. Um. So what this is is it changes the form. You know, Pac Man's been around since what the 80s. Earlier than that. So no. I mean. He's old. It's not older than the 80s, though. Your mom's older than the 80s. She is. There you go. So, anyway, 60s. Yeah. Anyways, anyway. um, you know, they, every every couple of years they come out with another thing. So it's like, 
how, what what do you change in this in this formula? And I'm not, and I, and I don't remember. I think what the, the first Pac Man, you just kept going till you died. Yeah. Or there was a time limit. <laughs> no, there was a kill screen, but you kept going until you got to the kill screen. Okay, because there's a there's a time limit on this game. You get ten minutes, and you just keep you keep scrolling around, and then you want the ghost to chase after you, because then once you get the power up, you can turn around and then eat all of them. Like eat, you know, in, in the original Pac Man, there was only four ghosts on the screen. This one, I think they go up to like twenty. 20 or 30 and you're just going around it's going around and then like it's neat like I say it's neon like you it's like neon you, said, you can chain kill like 10 at a time too and it, it, it's just crazy how fluid the game you know Pac-Man just moves around in, in the game where like in and, and I think I was watching a professional play so I mean it's gonna look a lot better but just <laughs> watching I'm just like holy shit this game looks you know cool but it's Pac-Man it's Pac-Man. That's kind of what I assumed. Yeah, I, I, literally, that's all it to, is. To be honest, I kind of assumed it was a compilation of like Pac-Man and this Pac-Man. No, it's a it's a whole new game. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. got multiple modes though, like. And then for some reason, Galaga was thrown in there. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I was excited for Pac-Man. So. Oh, okay. I'm never excited for Pac-Man. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I suck calm at down, it. Brennan. I'll, I'll suck. I suck at it, but I'll watch somebody play it. All right, so I'll go ahead. I give it a four. I gave it a one. I also gave it a one, and Phil gave it a three. Nice. So that's another nine. Let's see, four. Five between the two of us, and then four between you and Phil. So yeah, nine. Right. Okay, cool. I can't do math off the top of my head. If I'm out well, it's up there with Halo. <laughs> wow, okay, cool. So uh, next week, if there is a next week, um, we will put all these into the official ranking. Uh, I'll have to catch up. I have, I have three weeks of... Uh, making everything so uh, tune back into that and we'll move on now to the news slash just talking and I do have some things does anybody else have anything I got some disappointing news uh, yesterday well let's not start with disappointing news <laughs> it, it has to do with gaming news <laughs> okay well, 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 well we won't start with that yet okay, you know, I thought it was news no, I know. Aaron's got things he wants to say let him say it I don't want to go with disappointing and then I want to be. I want, I want you to be excited. We want you to that. leave disappointed. It's yeah. 2020, man. None of us are excited. All right. So uh, this has actually happened. I think last week or the week before. I think it happened the week before because, of course, it didn't have power. Um, Fortnite is going against uh, Apple. I don't know if anybody. It's Fort- Apple. You want Apple to win? Okay. Yes. Um, so Fortnite. the the reason why Fortnite is going against you like them on Facebook. I don't. Yes, you do. I'm pretty sure it will pop up saying Aaron likes Fortnite. <laughs> uh, Aaron likes Walmart. Aaron likes this. I'm like, why do I give a shit with this? Aaron likes Sunkiss. <laughs> you can't I hate that so much. Uh, but anyways, so Fortnite, um, the reason why they went after Apple, and it's kind of a layered story to where Apple's like, no, this is we're going to keep our system shut. You know, you don't get you don't get to put your stuff on there and do whatever you want. You have to go through us, which is fair. Um, but Microsoft tried to get it on on uh, the Apple Store, and Apple's like, eh, no. So Fortnite, you know, being Fortnite, being the top game in history, maybe not right now because of Fall Guys, but uh, they're like, hey, yeah, we, uh, yeah, we're not, we're, we're not, we're not giving you money. If you if if you guys want to buy V Bucks, you go through this site or something, and I'm not 100 percent sure what it was. So Apple was like, oh, fuck you, Fortnite. And they kicked them off. And then Apple, being Apple, was like, um, hey, yeah, by the way, your own Unreal Engine, we're going to take away your license. So, so anybody who uses the Unreal Engine can't update their game because Epic won't be on, on there. So this went to court, and so they put a restraining order <laughs> <laughs> which is the funniest fucking thing on Apple saying no you can take Fortnite off but you can't you can't um, uh, take anyone else off you can't go out you can't go after Unreal which is Epic's um, engine mm-hmm. that they give uh, developers so they pretty much had a breakup yeah so right now I guess the next case or the, the next trial starts at the end of, end of September so either Billy will get to know what happens or Billy won't get to know what happens um, and follow up on the Fortnite news. Uh, the new season started this week. Can anybody guess what it is about? Cats. Couldn't tell you. It's all about Marvel. 
By the way, rest in peace, uh, Chad. Yeah, that's Chad. why I frowned. Uh, oh, is that what you're going to be? Is that your news? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean... Uh, what's his last name? Chadwick, I, Chad, I think his name's Chadwick Boseman. Okay. Uh, we'll kind of forever. Um, but yeah, so this, this season's all about Marvel, and I could care less. I don't think that's the first time they've done that. Uh, this is the first time that the Battle Pass has been all Marvel. Oh. So, uh, I did one game, Jacob was listening to me play, I got 11 kills, that video will go up. I mean, I did it wasn't the best, I'm pretty sure that most of those were bots, but, um, all right, and we're real in your heart. Let me see. I, I still have yours. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, what, what is yours? It's really not important. I was just going to say that the likelihood of people getting a PS5 at launch are very slim. Oh, good. That's my news, too. Okay. I mean, so I guess, I, talk, let's talk I, about I, this. I got an email from Sony saying, hey, since you have the PS4, would you like to... Uh, Sign up for the pre-order. Okay, so you... and then they didn't tell me the price or anything, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, no thanks. So Sony is going around um, saying, hey, everybody, if you want a PS5, sign up for this, and then we're gonna look at your gamer score and see uh, what you've been playing, what your stats or whatever, see how much of Sony coin you are. So I might have a chance since I spent a lot of money on the ecosystem, but I, I didn't sign up. Because I'm switching. You're bots. fucked. I'm fucked. They're going to go look at your email and go, oh, he's an Xbox user? Fuck that. I would have to call, like, who's the head of who's the head of Sony or PlayStation? Oh, I don't. Like, hey, I really want to get a PlayStation 5. I want to switch. It's, Fuck it, Xbox. It's, I think it's the guy who ran uh, I, I, I like I like to assume as soon as you say, I, I want to switch, they'd be like, you called the wrong company. That's Nintendo being wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and then they hang up on you. So even if, even if you... Um, you, you put your email or your, your gamer tag in, uh, you're still not guaranteed to get into the by b- being able to pre order. Um, I don't even have a gamer t- or a PSN, whatever it's called on PlayStation. Quick, sell one up now. I, mean, you yeah, do you, you I tried to ask my brother, I was like, hey, you want to sell your PS4 to me? And he's like, no, I play my PS4. You, should, you are always a day late and a dollar short. You know that? Kind of. So let's, let's go into this little thing. So with, with with the retro that sh- you know came up, uh, everybody didn't have power. So what does Brennan do? He goes, "Well, you know, I really want to. I really want to switch. So I'm, I'm going to again. Buy, I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to. I'm going to sell my PS4. This is just like last week. And he, then he, he didn't sold sell it. it. Or not he sell it. it. He traded. He traded. He traded it to one of his cousin's kids for his switch. So you could have bought the PS4 from Brennan. Well, to be fair, I asked him about his Switch, and, like, I was asking him about it for weeks, and then, like, there, I never got any response from him, and he's like, no, I sold it to GameStop. You know what? Uh, I would have given you more money, dude. I would have given you a blowjob on the side, too. I mean, I mean, what? That was Aaron's I also right. would have probably bought Fire Emblem from him. No, he gave, he gave you five bucks. Uh, to yeah, play. to borrow it. So, yeah, money, you, you, money in my pocket. Just to borrow Fire Emblem Three Houses? Mm-hmm. For how long? Until he gets his, uh, his money. Um, and then he's going to go out and buy some games, and he's not going to have What goes through that kid's head? Fuck, I don't know. You uh, can't call me kid. He's older than you. Man, doesn't act like it. What goes through that kid's head? <laughs> I'm, I, meant, I meant what I said. <laughs> um, so anyways, that, that's the PlayStation news. And then I have a little bit of Switch news. So, as we can all expect... Uh, rumors are that Nintendo is making a new Switch, not making a new Switch, but a Switch model. Being bringing a new Switch out next year, um, being able to do 4K on TV. Um, I just want to know anybody's thoughts on. Either. I'm not gonna upgrade. I didn't upgrade to the PS4 Pro. I didn't upgrade to. Well, I might upgrade if I'm in the market for a new Switch. If some freak accident happens where my switch just flies out the window into the it. ether, <laughs> don't say it. It might happen. Yeah, it's I like mean, you know, yeah. it's in the basement. I still have my original Xbox, and it's it's a jet engine, so like that shit. Yeah, um, I don't I, like buying upgrade consoles. My, my my thing with, and I hope that I hope Nintendo. <laughs> That was my phone. Oh, <laughs> it was a case. No, uh, I can smell it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I hope 
the tenor doesn't do this because right now the, they're the they're, they're on the rise. I think they're at last time sixty million. They're outselling the Xbox One. Yes. <laughs> Yes, they are. Didn't the Wii U outsell the Xbox One no. for like a month? No, they never well, outsold they, the they, Xbox Maybe for a month, maybe in like Japan. Or something in in like Japan, that. they they did, and Xbox is not popular in Japan. They out they sold, I think, like four thousand. It was like four thousand Wii U's in a week, I think, and they sold a hundred Xboxes in a week. So the thing, the thing, the thing I have against Nintendo, and I fucking hate that everybody still stands up for them when they do this shit. They they always release a new new system you know quote unquote air quotes new system they go this is the new 3ds I you hate can that. you can play this game on there oh cool so if I if I drop the money um, how many games are gonna be on there just this one you can't play it yet you can't play this game on your on your original 3ds so I hope I hope Nintendo doesn't do a blunder because if they do. I think they literally did that with one system, and that was DSi. I think that was the only system that they released, and they're like, it's an enhanced version with enhanced games. I Never think, mind, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D was exclusive to the new 3DS. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that was, yeah, the one game. Yeah. But to be fair, Xenoblade Chronicles is a huge-ass fucking game that right. I don't think the 3DS could run. But if you're gonna... This is... This is always what... Well, okay, they did it with the grip. Uh, when they released the grip, they're like, oh, hey, yeah, you can start playing games. And, like, they're like, what, maybe five games that the grip plays? You're talking about the Circle Pad Pro, right? Yeah, Circle Pad. Yeah, there was... You could use it for several games. Right. It's right. just several games didn't need it. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's one of my fear with the, the Switch is that they'll come out and go, yeah, this is the new Switch? Um... You can play all your old Switch games on here, but any any game that's coming out on Switch now, no, I doubt they'll do it. If they do that, I'd be really upset. It's like they don't. I feel like it's a scam. Oh yeah, they do it all the fucking time, and everybody goes, "Thanks, Nintendo, we love you." To be fair, both PlayStation and Microsoft have done the exact same thing. Ah, uh, the where, where they just release a new version of their old system. Well, no, it's with just, exclusive it, games though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no. games that are like ex- like. You can only have the Xbox One X, no. No, no, there's no pro game that you can't play on the original PS4. Okay. It just that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't care. If they want to, if they want at least an enhanced edition and go, well, yeah, if you, if you buy this game on your old 3DS, or on your old Switch, yeah, it's not going to run as well. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's when you go, yeah, you can't, you, you can't buy that game because you can only play it on this system. Because they have such a sh- shit crack record of... Yeah, we're, we're making the new new thing, and only maybe one or two games come out of there. Mm. But it's not like they're advertising as, like, hey, it's going to have more processing power or anything. We're just saying, hey, well, it's new. It's, hey, we want to make more money. Just like when well, PlayStation like, did like the whole, I said, I, I, hey, we're releasing the Millennium uh, version of the PS4, which is the same PS4 no, we've already bought, yeah, but no, it's a shiny balloon. I'm, fi- I, I'm fine. If they, want, if they want to release a new Switch... I'm just saying, you say that uh, you say it like Nintendo actively makes one game for an enhanced system. The 3DS. And they've done, yeah, one fucking game. Yeah. One. It's yeah. not like they went... It, it, it's not like they went, here's the well, new 3DS, and then here's the newer 3DS that so can also only play one new game. The new, new 3DS. But why would I go out and buy that if I if I already have a 3DS? I mean, I, I don't go and buy uh, upgrading systems. I'm just saying, it seems like you're making... You're like track record, like they've done this multiple times. Well, okay, it's not it's not like every... It's, it's he like doesn't they, want them to do that with the Switch. I, I get what he's saying, it's just he says track record, like this is something they well, consistently ta- do. Well, I'm talking about, I'm talking about like... The, the also like like I said the Circle Pad Pro, like that some, was just an ex- that was a peripheral like, like that doesn't count. Like when when they released the, uh, uh, I don't know if, if Labo counts. So they go, oh hey yeah, we're Labo we're, again is a peripheral. It know. doesn't. I, I just I don't know. That's I just, just saying like oh man the the Wii Zapper I can't I, believe they made three games for that. Yeah, okay. like that also doesn't count it, because it's you can play it without it. It's just an, an enhancement. Yeah. The Labo is, is is a gimmick. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I just the like Circle Pad Pro was an enhancement that they sold for twenty bucks. It's not like they said, "Oh, you you need to go buy a new 3DS for this." But then they kind of did the whole, "Well, we're gonna make the 3DS bigger, so you can't use it anyway." No. But I'm just 
taken up taken points your I, I assessment of saying track record for it. We we are a Nintendo shield. I mean, look at our top Nintendo. Look at our look at our uh, top games of uh, our ranked games. I mean, it's Nintendo. So I mean, well, I mean the first one. Is I'm just second. trying to the counter. One isn't. I'm just kind of ca- trying to counteract. You know, no, I just um, there's there's since a lot of people. I mean, it, like I said, it, it was um, it was rumored, which I mean they rumor they rumor every fucking month. Hey, did you? They, get, they've been rumoring. Trust that me. Switch trust me. Pro for three years. I was, yeah, as I say, trust me. As soon as the Switch Pro comes out, they go. Oh, did you hear about the new Switch? You know, and they'll keep going after that and then, until they go, oh, he told you the new Switch is coming out. It'd be um, a waste of money. But, I just, like I said. Not if you don't have a Switch, but. I was like, say, yeah, it's, you know, it's for people like, hey, if you don't have the Switch, this is probably the better Switch to get. Which, my guess, is it'll probably cost $400. Because, hmm. you know, the regular Switch is $300. Switch Lite's, I think, 200 So, Switch Pro will probably be like 400 does anybody else got any news or anything? Well, Iris got depressing news, apparently. I already said it. Oh, did you? It was, yeah, about, yeah, it was about the PlayStation 5 being... Uh, oh. You know, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I probably would be, un- probably be unlikely that i get it at launch. I'm I was going to say, I don't think anybody in this group is going to get it. I'm not only because of... Well, they said because of COVID, like, uh, manufacturing is very, very behind because of COVID-19. Right. I'm probably going to wait until, like, February when I get my profit-sharing check. And I'll have uh, like seven hundred bucks to spend for no reason. I'm gonna do like what you said with your switch. I'm just gonna call and see, like, hey. I didn't even call for my switch. I pre-ordered off the of GameStop. I thought you said you like called. No, I, I, you and Josh like called GameStop. No, I literally walked into the game center and I was like, hey. Yeah, but you all, you also did it after Odyssey was released, right? No, I was checking GameStop site. When I got home from work, like every day, to see if they had more pre-orders available, and then I texted Phil telling him that there were pre-orders available. I hope they release a black one. I really don't want a white PS5. Racist. Yes. Well, okay, so uh, with the PS5, um, if it, it, if it, <laughs> it what happens if it was black outer, the outer shell, and then on the inside it was white? I heard they're making a PlayStation or. A, I feel like Oreo would sue at that point. <laughs> I think they're making a Spider-Man Miles Morales PS5. Hmm. Don't care. It's like black and black and emits red. Same game blue. sucks. Spider-Man sucks. No, it doesn't. Spider-Man. Did sucks. you play it? I'm gonna get it. Spider-Man PS4 was literally just. It should have been subtitled Spider-Man, more of the same. You know what you're getting for Spider-Man, except you're getting challenged. I like Spider-Man 60. Well, it's not called Spider-Man 64, but Spider-Man on the Nintendo 64. It was Spider-Man on the Nintendo 64. Yeah, that sounds gross. Well, I mean, there's this part where you run away from Venom, and it's very annoying. But other than that, it's pretty good. Yeah, it sounds like a bad game. I never heard of it. The cartridge is red. Oh sure. yeah, that's of right. course it is. It's just like how, how many red cartridges were there? I know there was only three gold cartridges, or three yellow cartridges. We could Google it, but let's not. I'm gonna say there's fifty. There's not fifty fucking games. <laughs> there's four. I know. There's more than joke. fifty. That's what is it's like a hundred some? No, I think it's like three hundred some. Right, okay, is it? Like, it's like the second most easily easiest system to collect for, right? Prop, yeah, because the Virtual Boy has a handful of games. Yeah, and I don't mean that isn't like oh, it's got a handful like a hundred. No, has I mean a I mean you can hold all the games in your hand at one time. Good luck owning a Virtual Boy though. Mm, yeah, you got three hundred dollars a drop. I figured that would probably go for like a th- like thousands. No, it's not that expensive. It is more expensive. Is this still a video game, sir? I don't think so. Did they have one? They used to have one sitting. And I'm like, I'd buy it if I had money to throw around. Because I would never use it. But I'm like, I'm not going to buy that. I would buy it just for Wario World or Land or whatever. Mm-hmm. Fucking Wario games on there. Yeah, that picture. I hate that picture you sent. I know, I know <laughs> nobody knows. <laughs> the Lego Wario? Yeah. Oh. The Lego Wario. The true form of chaos? Uh, oh, yeah, I remember seeing that. That was in the group chat. <laughs> It was a nightmare fuel. <laughs> I had to see it, so everyone else had to see it. <laughs> um, I trust we have to pick which game goes higher, Breath of the Wild or Mario Odyssey. Oh, definitely Odyssey. They both got 14. No, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> well, we can't, we can't debate it right now. I mean, we don't I mean if we debated it right now, it would be Odyssey. I think Phil would pick Breath of the Wild. Phil would pick Breath of the Wild. 
That being said, so we're going to do it right now. We're going to tell you. Are you also up. picking Odyssey? I am also picking. Right Odyssey. now, hey, wait. You know what? This is the only game we're going to debate today. Phil, you should have showed up. <laughs> you know, I hope your I hope your kitchen table is good. I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him on the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I'm picking up my table. <laughs> I don't know if he'd answer. Let's see if he answers. Put the phone like right here. I put it on speaker. I'm calling the. Your phone might go off, Jake. Yeah, it should. I don't have messenger. <laughs> it just mine goes off for some reason. Like what the <laughs> fuck? I just. Your face is in there. I don't know. I don't have messenger. I don't have the app. I really hope he answers. Come on, it's ringing. You know you want to answer, Phil. See, I never understood that. <laughs> See, I'm afraid to call him now because I feel like I could be like, I I, I don't pick up the phone for this. So, why did it just keep going? We could always do it next week. No, we're doing we're ba- we're debating it right now. Right I, now, I want to win. Odyssey, two to one. I mean, Odyssey's a great game, I, but I, I don't could, think it's better than Breath of the Wild. I could just call Phil. Well, I could call him too, but you, know, you call him. He, he likes you. <laughs> <laughs> Phil probably looked He's, at that and was like, "Why the hell is Aaron calling me in the group chat?" Well, that's a uh, Shane used to do that too. We were, we were in like a giant group chat, and he he keep calling like, "What the fuck? You call? I'm at work right now." <laughs> My brother always calls me at work, like, never when I'm at home, but as soon as I get to work, will call me. Really? Every time. <laughs> Great podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. You're taking my table! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Phil. <laughs> You can do it. Maybe he's actually busy. He's driving right now. Your call is I'm trying, I'm trying. No, 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 no. I did, okay. okay good. I, 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 I want to make sure that his number didn't get yeah. uh, rolled in. Um, okay. You just stuck your hand over my thing. I can't, I can't hit the, the off button. Right, turn it off, Aaron. Or turn it off, here. I can't. Your hand's on it. I'll turn it off. <laughs> and then maybe he'll call back. He'll call right after the podcast I'm getting beat two to one. I don't know. I think Odyssey, or not Odyssey. Uh, Breath of the Wild is like the best framework to set up a game that could truly be great. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Odyssey looks think, really freaking good. But I think Odyssey didn't doesn't set up the framework because it is the the the, the you best play as a dinosaur. Can't do that, Breath of the Wild. Gameplay, I think, is better than Breath of the Wild. Look, here's the thing, though. In Super Mario Odyssey, you can take over a regular businessman. I know, I've actually done that. You can take over a businessman driving a car. I'm only halfway you, through it. You can just take over his life. You can take over... You become o- the businessman. Hey, I got one better. You can take over a manhole. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You can take over two different kinds of manholes. <laughs> Small ones. <and> bigger ones. <laughs> I just think in terms of what the Switch could do, Breath of the Wild proved it. But, uh, to be fair... Have you ever oh, seen... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Odyssey's not on the Wii U. The Switch, or uh, Breath of the Wild is on the Wii U, and it runs better than the Switch. To be fair, just chug on the Wii U, on, on the Switch. Anyway! I played both of them. So anyway, <laughs> have you seen 400 moons going into the Odyssey at one time? No, but I've it seen I've most, seen forty. It is the most satisfying thing. I've had forty at once before I put it into it. Because you can just go to different worlds and just get all the moves. How long is the game? I'm at. Uh, I think I'm at. Is that a beat yet? No. I haven't played Drake it. Come through. You had I'm all. Not, I'm time. at ten hours in. I was at fifty when I beat it. But then oh, again, I, I went for everything. There was a um, lot of moons in that game. Like, there was one that had 69 of them. Oh. Nice. Nice. And it's like, ooh, okay, I, I got it. And it's like Super Mario 64. There's there's paintings you have to go through. But it doesn't leave, but anyway, it doesn't where, leave a different world. Where are you at? I don't... It's... Not the Mushroom Kingdom or the Water Place. 
I don't remember. I haven't played it in like a week. Uh, when you say water place, do you mean? Uh... It's the one where you have to find the dress. I think I know what he's talking about, but I don't know what the name is. Is that the one with the big bottle, or? Yes. Okay, I said the Seaside Kingdom. Is that the one? Oh, I know is I have Mario and a cowboy costume. Isn't the one with the, the underwater kingdom? There, there's two, oh, there's two I'm more. I'm in the city. Levels. I'm in that, I'm on the city level. New Donk City? Yes. Okay, so you're... I just started that. I want to say you're probably about halfway. Yeah. You know, in terms of you know what honestly doesn't have? But there's a lot of backtracking, Weapon honestly. Weapon durability. There wasn't any backtracking. Not, not, well, there. Once to you get moons, there is. Once you get to the end of the game, like then there becomes backtracking. Hey, you can collect every single moon without having progress in any of the games. What? what? Yeah. What? You can collect without without progressing. Okay, Mario has you, moons, but you, you know, know what it doesn't have? A blood moon. You know, if you threw the hat on it, you could take it over. You can take over anything with that hat. Exactly. A dinosaur. Unless it's things that are already wearing a hat. I love that. I, I did love how you could take over the dinosaur. Uh, you can also take over the Goomba Tower. Tower of Goomba. Yeah, t- I sent you a picture and I was like, I said in captions, send help. And yeah. I, had, I had like 20 Goombas. Yeah, the Goomba Tower. The best thing. Can you do that in Breath of the Wild? There's something comparable that you can do. No, you can't. Nope. You can go through walls. Yeah, but that's like cheating and whatnot. So, we said do it. That's not what the developers intended. Doesn't matter. Players they can do it. They intended for you to just drop your... your can you shield your, surf? Your metal weapons and whatnot on top of the surface. I think you can, can, can't you, uh, you surf in that game? Isn't yeah, there a surf in Mario? Yeah. No, but you can roll. You can, you can do the Sonic roll. You can spin dash. Yeah, I'm finally figuring out how to like not be slow in that game. You know what you can do? You can, you know, you you can do, do that icing. forward jump. You can co-op in Odyssey. No, you can't do it in Breath of the Wild. Co-op? Yeah. I didn't even know I gave my co-op. It yeah, does. you're the hat. You turn the game from so to... one player is the hat. Yeah. Yes. How does that? And you turn it into a Souls type game because it's so fucking hard. I don't know. It doesn't really. Like, I like it, but so it's what not... I'm hearing is that you have no. You, you you're not you're not getting a good. Uh, de- you know you're not defending Breath of the Wild very well. I could defend it. I don't. But you yeah, got... I don't hear anything coming out of your mouth. Your eye, your mouth is saying, "Yeah, Breath of the Wild," but your eyes are saying, "Please just put Odyssey on top. Please put Odyssey on top." You like, want Odyssey to be on top? That's why. Oh, I do want to be on top. I don't think Odyssey is a bad game. I just haven't finished it yet. <laughs> uh, I just give you shit. Oh, is he text? No, I'm just gonna text him. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we only have like what five minutes left. We can less we, than five. We can end. We can end the podcast. Uh, uh, we'll see. You said you have an idea uh, for uh, for Corn Bros. For Corn Bros. I thought you're doing your own thing. I thought you're branching out. I thought you're I thought you're leaving this. I don't have equipment. You don't need equipment, do I? I have a tablet. That's a and a mic and a mic that I bought for uh, <laughs> three podcasts ago. Three different podcasts. <laughs> I think I don't remember. What, yeah, I think I. Why did I buy this mic? I don't remember why I did. <laughs> I don't know. It's coming handy. I'm like, oh, I need a mic, so I guess we can use it. Um, okay, well, I guess that was, with that being said, I mean, look forward to the Corn Bros. Uh, new new uh, day. Um, Anybody have anything left to say? I don't yeah. know. I, don't really I think Aaron's got some depressing news that he wants to say. Yeah, you got some depressing news. Oh, I thought you were talking to him. I was like, no. That's why we all looked at you. Hey, you said you, you said you had some sad news. And I already said it. <laughs> I could say it again. Nah. No, we don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear depressing news. I know nobody wants to hear me speak. Uh, well, hopefully, you don't want your bed next time. Uh, get don't let my bed again. Get the get the bars up. Mm-hmm. Uh, get the pacifier. Your, in. I have a body pillow. You have a body pillow. You, you have a waifu pillow. Yes. I don't want to see it. It's probably it's dangerous. I hold it at night. Is it a... Yeah, I would, too, if I had one. Who is it? What? Who is it? What do you... What? A body oh. pillow. Who, Who is, is it? Who's, who's on it? Who's a waifu? It's just a body pillow. You don't know what a body pillow is? No, I know what a body pillow is, but you gotta have a person. Is it a rubber one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, who's on the Who's on the pillowcase? The pillow. So your waifu is a pillow? Yes. 
You know, if you have uh, a pillow, Chan, I love you. If you have, <laughs> if you have a great imagination, that pillow could be anybody. Yeah, that's why you put the fucking pillowcase on it. Don't you guys hug and kiss somebody at night? No. No, because my pillow won't reciprocate. My cat doesn't like it. <laughs> 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 with that being said, it's just a joke, people. Don't, don't in five years. It's not a joke. Don't come back in five years. Well, they're all deaf now. <laughs> Alrighty, peace, guys. See ya. Goodbye.